For more on mo motorsports and its fast-paced growth in China, let's bring in Sarah Shelton. She's an automotive journalist with U.S. News and World Report. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So give us some background on how motorsports in China have developed over the years and where the industry stands now. Well, China has seen a, a boom lately in its motorsports. Uh, China GT started back in 2010, and it's been rapidly expanding since. One of the most heartening things that we've been seeing with motorsports expanding in China is actually the go-kart racing. This is where kids will go and race little go-karts on tracks. Uh, one example that I love is outside of Beijing. There's a track. In 2013, it was, had only 10 junior racers on a regular basis. Now it has more than 500. Now these are the kids that are learning how to race and will hopefully become next uh, the, the future F1 champions and the future NASCAR champions from China. And it certainly helps to start young. So let's look at how Formula One has developed. How were they able to build their fan base in China? Well, Formula One has been there for, they, they actually haven't been there that long, and it took a while for them to get started. Talks for F1 first started in the early 90s in China. It wasn't until 2004 that we saw the first uh, Grand Prix held there at the Shanghai International Circuit. Now, the first year, that circuit did sell out. I believe it was 500,000 seats. And since then, um, the audience has dwindled, but it still will bring about 140,000 people each year to the F1 race in Shanghai. Uh, F1 is also looking to expand to add another race in China. Nothing official is um, on the books yet, but there are, there are talks currently going on to add one more race in China. Now, other, other than the Shanghai International Circuit, which, as you mentioned, hosted that Formula One Chinese Grand Prix in 2004, you also have the Beijing Golden Port Grand Prix, the Jiaoqing Super Endurance Championships in Guangdong Province, among others. But what needs to happen to get more global recognition for Chinese racing events? Well, what we need to see is more of the young racers moving up through the circuits. Right now, there are no Chinese racers on the grid in Formula One, there are a couple of test drivers. There are some Chinese racers in some of the lower series, like in GT4. Um, but I think that what would ha what would definitely help is to see more drivers move up to some of the top series. And I know that's one of the things that NASCAR is hoping to do when they go to China, is get Chinese drivers to move up through the Chinese series, and then hopefully over to the US. They've had some success with this in Mexico currently. So how is NASCAR actually faring in China right now? Well, so NASCAR is very, it, they've said that China is a high priority for them. They've been pretty quiet on it the last couple of months, but we do know that they are looking to expand there. They've been looking, in fact, to expand to a number of international markets and have been growing their series in Canada, have been growing their series in Europe as well. So even though China is not on the 2019 schedule, uh, we do believe that it is going to come soon. You know, again, it took quite a while for F1 to get established there. Right. But last year, Jim Cassidy, he used to be the chief international officer for uh, NASCAR, said that China is a perfect fit at a perfect time for NASCAR. So then in terms of the teams and the companies involved in China, who are the biggest players? For NASCAR? Uh, for both NASCAR and for Formula One. Well, um, I know that uh, we're hoping to see more, you know, if NASCAR does build up there, that they are hoping to see some of the U.S. companies go there. Um, you know, Ford, uh, the Ford muscle cars, the, the Chevrolet muscle cars are starting to gain some popularity there. So we will likely see uh, U.S. companies such as those moving to China. Um, right now, there are not a lot of China companies that are actively involved in NASCAR. And so tell us a little bit about the barriers to entry. Are there sort of, are there a lot of opportunities for people there to get some sort of specialized training to really help get more people interested in racing professionally? Well, that's where the go-karts really come into play. And that's why it's exciting to see that so many go-kart tracks are spreading around China, because that is really the, the first opportunity for a lot of people to get behind the wheel, to both get training, but also to get excited about it and to want to be watching it on a regular basis. And if you had to say what the biggest hurdle was in terms of growing the industry, what would that be? 
in terms of growing motorsports industry in China. Yes. I think that one of the biggest hurdles right now is going to be uh, the, the tracks themselves, the NASCAR tracks and the F1 tracks. These, it takes quite a bit to build up those structures, and um, and there's a lot of things involved to get you know to get those into place. So you know, for example, with F1 trying to expand to another race, that's going to take quite a bit to um, to find a spot to uh, to flesh it out so that it is ready for an F1 race. Sarah Shelton, automotive journalist with U.S. News and World Report. Thanks so much.